Hello and welcome back to Tales of Lumen. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing off a whole bunch of goodies that I collected while at Blizzard Entertainment's offices in France. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. Now, for those that didn't watch the entirety of yesterday's video, it was like 45 minutes long, so I don't blame you. I can give you a quick rundown of what I was talking about there. I basically just said that a whole bunch of community influencers were invited to Blizzard in Europe so that they could basically just discuss, let's say the next year or so with us, how they can help us, how we can help them and so on and so forth. They also spoiled us rotten just because they seem to like doing things like that. So without further ado, let's get started. The biggest item that is definitely one of a kind is this framed masterpiece back here. Now, I showed this off yesterday, but I know that, again, some of you didn't watch the entire video, but this is a wedding gift. This was given to both myself and Helene, my wife, and it is, as I mentioned yesterday as well, currently my most prized possession. Just because. Look at it. I mean, come on. This is meant to be pretty rare already, the actual, not print, because it's not a print. It's made of like a plasticky substance. It's quite thick, very durable, but I still carried this on hand luggage with me on the plane. It was a little bit awkward, but there was no way I was going to put this in the hold of an aeroplane. Now, I think this is from one of the previous BlizzCons, so these posters don't actually exist anymore, and all the community team members signed this one for me. Then there was actually one that didn't sign it, a lovely lady, and I went and looked for her and I got her to sign it. They actually sort of told me right after I got her to do it that, listen, we forgot to get her signature. But I got it over there. She was the Russian community representative or manager for StarCraft 2, I think. I think. Anyway, all of them signed it, and they wrote their special little messages and stuff here. I don't know if you can really see all of it, but I guess you can pause the video. And then in the top there, it says, over here, it says, Congratulations on getting married. It's so nice. Okay, that's going over here. I had to show that off first, okay, because this is the most important piece. <sighs> I'm going to hang it up soon. Okay, it's just a little bit difficult because I'm gonna have to drill a hole in the wall here for it because it's kind of heavy. I'll see. I'll get to it soon enough, but I will just once again say that I was so honored to receive this. Seriously. And I was shocked. I was <sighs> speechless when this was revealed to me. And it was revealed to me in front of so many people, so many people that were, I was going to say, oh, and were way more famous than me. Bigger names in the community. I mean, for goodness sake, Athene was there and he was clapping hands. He was, you know, happy to see this happen. So it was a big deal for me. And it was an even bigger deal for Helene when I brought it home and I showed it to her and I said, listen, this is for you. Anyway. Now let's move on, and I'm going to stick with the this is for Helene note, because this is another gift that I received, and this one was once again just unique to me, because this came with that. It was presented alongside that, and in turn it was presented to Helene as a birthday gift, because this all happened just before Helene's birthday. Then I came back here and I gave it to her. A wireless MMO mouse. It's the Mr. Pandaria version, so it's the new one, and it's beautiful. Let me just tell you right now that this is the most beautiful mouse ever. And you know what? These new SteelSeries wireless mice, they're just good. Back in my day, when I had a wireless mouse, and I had one, I think, for the briefest of periods, it wasn't very good. It just wasn't. They've made leaps and bounds with a wireless technology. And look at it, it's got its own little stand with these glowing runes and glyph type things on. 
haven't even opened it yet, but Eileen is going to open it because her Steel Series Zai is getting kind of old. So she's going to use this. I don't know if she's going to be playing World of Warcraft with it, but, you know, that doesn't really matter. She could quite easily play Diablo with it and anything else she plays. So that's great. It's got a map on it as well. You can just just make it out. You can also see my <laughs> webcam recording software in the reflection. <laughs> you don't need to see that. You don't need to see that. So those are the two items that I received there. Then there's this. It's like a bunch of World Championship Series cards. I haven't opened these either. They're from Series 1. I don't know, maybe I should keep them closed. Maybe they'll become collector's items. Maybe I open one and I get a, like, a Stefano card. And it's worth a lot of money. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know much about these cards, but I got a couple of packs of them. So that's kind of cool. Then, I'm moving on to the stuff that I suppose most of the people that attended got. We all received these amazing bags that have Blizzard's logo on them. I say amazing because, well... The Blizzard Entertainment logos on them. So of course the bags are amazing. At least I consider them amazing. Nice bag. Thick. Good material. Useful. I'd say. I mean, I'm not going to put my shopping in here. I wouldn't do that. That would be, I don't know, disrespectful in some way, shape or form, I'm sure. But I could use it for something. A lanyard. It's got all the different logos on it. Well, not all the different logos, but it does have the main franchises of, I don't know, a year or two ago. StarCraft, World of Warcraft, and Diablo. Then it's also got the Blizzard Entertainment logo on it. This is like incredibly thick. This is heavy duty stuff. It's got a big clip thing over there. And that's it. Not much more to say about that. Then, there is an authenticator. Now I should probably not show this because I think the code is on here somewhere. No? No, I think the code is on there. <laughs> doesn't matter. doesn't matter. I think you need the authenticator for the actual code to be useful in any way. But this is one of the standard, standard authenticators. It's one of those. I think we've got a total of like four of these authenticators in the house at the moment. Yet... Both of us use the ones on our iPhones. I find the ones on the iPhones more is just safer. I don't want to say more reliable because these ones are really good. And the code that you have to put in with these is shorter. So I think a lot of people prefer it because of that reason. Here's my name tag. I did show this off in, in yesterday's video. It says Swin and Lumen. It has the South African flag on and they put my logo on there too. Hmm. I like it. Then, let's move on. I like these. I like these a lot. Let's get them out. These are kind of cool. So there are two magnets. Wait, let's save the magnets for last. Firstly, we have the... What are these even called? They're not brooches. They're not... Pins? I guess you could call them pins. What are they called, Helene? She doesn't know. Maybe these little things with a little, you know, pin on the back. There's a Diablo one, a World of Warcraft one, a Hearthstone one, which I did not expect. It's kind of cool. I'm not going to focus on them because the webcam kind of sucks like that. And then there's a Starcraft one. So one of each. And then I've got two Hearthstone magnets. And these ones are... Well, slightly more special because they change if you look at them from different directions. They 3D, I guess you can call it. There's the Hearthstone logo and I guess you could also say the Hearthstone logo. <laughs> the text logo and the other logo. The little swirly thing. And they're magnets. So I can actually put it on the side of my PC here. And no, they're not that strong that they're going to rip my hard drive to shreds or something. Wow, that looks nice. <laughs> anyway, 
So those are there. They're very cool. I'm gonna throw them back in this bag. Back in the banky. And then, let's move on. A mouse pad. Diablo 3 Steel Series QCK Limited Edition mouse pad. It's nice. Not gonna open it because we both have mouse pads of our own. I've currently got a Steel Series, the super large QCK Plus or something. It's the really big one, the thinner one. She has, my lovely wife has the Diablo Barbarian. I bought that for her, I think for her previous birthday. Can't even remember. But now we've got another one, we've got a spare. So that's kind of cool. Once again, a limited edition, so maybe it'll be worth a lot of money in a couple of years. Then, I suppose for many this would be the main event. For me, that was the main event. But, uh... Ta-da! I got another StarCraft Collector's Edition. It's part of the swarm. It's uh, something that I do personally already own, but my wife did not own it. And, funny enough... I'm not going to show the actual box off too much. You guys know what's in here. I did an unboxing a couple of months ago. There you can see the back as well. But funny enough, this is the one that she does not have. And it's the one that she really wanted. Because you get the Kerrigan wings or Diablo 3 in there. She wanted those wings. She's got the angel wings from uh, the Diablo 3 collector's edition. So she wanted to complete her collection. And hey, she did. Then finally, I received this. It's beautiful. It is a Diablo 3 notebook. And in it, you can see that it's from the Blizzard Entertainment Worldwide Invitational Paris 2008. It's very likely on the page there. And it's super cool. It's basically just empty pages with different pictures and stuff on them so there's not really very much to show but it is again just a really rare item so i was super honored to receive it because well it's from the worldwide invitational 2008 that was a whole lot of years ago they're obviously not printing these anymore because it's no longer 2008 so there you have it those are the items that I was blessed enough to receive. And I'm so, so thankful and so grateful <sighs> to the amazing guys and girls at Blizzard in Europe. Both for the items and the amazing time that they gave us there. Life changing. That's all I'm going to say. And I'm done. You can check back here soon for more Tales of Lumen episodes talking about all sorts of other things. All sorts of other things. I don't even know what I'm going to talk about next. I'm a little bit crazy like that. A little bit unpredictable like that. So you better check back tomorrow. Do it. For now though, you can just give this video a like. Share it. And do all that other good stuff. Let me know which is your favorite item. I mean, if you don't say that. Well. Then just don't say anything at all. Because <laughs> that is the best item. By far. The others are great. Great. That. All those signatures, all that love. Happy that. <laughs>